Well, today we're with Venture Master Nate, and we're doing something a little different. We got a 65 F250 here with the 300 in it, and we're gonna do a cam swap because I think only like two cylinders on this thing actually work because the rest of it's like flat or the cam's like cracked in half. I don't know, we'll find out. But we're doing a full cam swap on this, so. See how it turns out. And we're gonna start by draining his brand new coolant on the ground, and he's cleaning out the bucket, so he wants to reuse it, so I'm gonna get this stuff out of the way. Whoa, we just pulled the valve cover off. The, the, Nate. Well, that, that's uh, cylinder two. Thank God it broke there. That one just came loose. Okay. Okay. I did that one. So, the lesson here, make sure when you're rebuilding your head that you don't have a cam. Use this lifter as a leverage to get that off, and it didn't work. So you had to break out the specialty lug nut and the 1316 socket, and then the claw exploded on us. So it didn't hit anyone in the eye. Me. Yeah, that's very stuck on there. So we're gonna <laughs> roll down and get an actual harmonic balancer pulley for fourteen dollars. That is what victory looks like. <laughs> Completely ruined. <laughs> oh. Nice. You know, I don't think that was going to come off with a prying on it like that. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> well, I think it would have helped. If we just stayed at it. For two more days. <laughs> this is so We're on candid camera. This is mentally... This is not okay, guys. This is not okay. <laughs> not okay. This is not okay. Welcome to the Cletus McFarland Show. A certified non-agreeable moment. Oh my god. <laughs> Just tighten it. Victory! Yeah. If you guys only saw how long that took. <laughs> Wait, we gotta get the cam out, brother. You gotta film that. Yeah. <laughs> the big reveal. <laughs> You're gonna have to fast forward this part. No. No, this is just the painstaking, painstakingly real time footage. It's got, this is gonna be a half hour long video. It's, and this is gonna be like a two hour long video. My SD card's gonna love that one. Rotate it a little bit. You gotta rotate it. Where's the wrench? The half inch wrench? It's right here. No. Oh. I thought you said it would be fine. Well, so far. Oh yeah, this spot's big enough. Yeah, yeah you don't have to pull it right out there, bud. Why don't we just cut the cam in half? Lightweight. Well, 
You're gonna have to pull it anyways. You gotta put the new one in. Yeah. If we cut the new one and then weld this, <laughs> then you get pristine. Oh well, back to doing what we were doing. Well, if you've ever uh, taken the grill out of a, oh my. I think the best part about this right here is we have to put a new one in. <laughs> Welcome to neutral drop. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so where was cylinder three? This this one. Or this is cylinder two, the number three lobe. Uh -oh. And this one's going flatter. Can you look at the comparison? I mean, you can't really see very much, but like... Nice. And then... <laughs> Oh, nice. Mm, look at that new cam. You know the thing? I think these are the same cams. I think that's just an older version or something. So what you're saying is, we're gonna flatten the cam again. Yeah. Let me break it in. But this time we're gonna do it on different cylinders. Please, doesn't it? Well, after a stupid waste of like an hour and a half, uh, we got the old cam gear on the new cam because uh, old uh, crank gear is um, pressed on there wanna, pretty. It doesn't want to leave home. Yeah, it's pressed on there pretty good. So, and I mean, if we get it off, I don't really know how we're gonna get it back on. So, just put the old one on. Makes it easier, anyways. Yeah. And uh, and we can't use the new cam gear either because it has a different count of T than that one. So, and the bumper had to be taken off just to fit the stupid thing in there so we're having the springs that's 12 lifters yeah. i got from the box and said lifters Oh yeah, just right on. <laughs> this is how you do it in a slick side. You just bend it out of the grill, the all original grill. And work right in there. My channel's slowly becoming a meme channel. For the next grill. Oh, you're just gonna want to grind it on the grill. Extra traction for the be for the bearings, obviously. That actually went in surprisingly easy. I probably just knocked out all the cam bearings in that process, but it doesn't matter. Time for timing. Oh, timing. Timing. Oh, the timing. Timing. Well, looks like we're about 180 off, son. <laughs> okay, now I have a question. We put, why did we put three marks on the crank gear? There's only one. No, there's three. Well, that's the real one. Okay. That's just, I don't know how that happened. That's the real one. Okay. Thank. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think what we should do it's is. It's just a variable valve timing. I was know. just about to say, if we put, if we take <laughs> that cam gear off and put that one on, the different count of teeth will create. Okay, we're taking this the greasy bad. old plugs out. Dude, one's not even that bad. Two. Two. Yeah, that's not oh. even bad. Okay, get number get three. <laughs> I want to see three. It's either three or four. I can't remember which one. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, nice. I broke the fuel pump. <laughs> fuel pump delete. Ah, oh, yeah. What? 
I got a pause to floor them before they arrest us for posting this on a... She's almost there. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Wait, yeah, was, it was Why hard. is it shut? I don't know. <laughs> um... Greasy old piston in her. I don't set, Who set, put that in there? I put it in, but it was gapped when I put it in. We're just gonna... Oh, dude. Go. Nice. Oh, dear. Yeah. Now time to set the timing. Setting the timing? Oh, shit, that's concerning. Why... Well, the truck was in gear when we were trying to turn it, so... This is chocolate, right? Yeah, we're setting the setting the old timing. You know, I don't think it's just kind of a good thing we pulled the. Uh... Where's the timing mark? Is that it? Uh, uh, I think so. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's the timing mark. It got wiped off a little bit though. Well, cams all the way in. She's timed, and now he's, it's gonna lube up the old and, uh, lifters and uh, put them in. Well, we had one flaw last night. A very big one. Uh, we forgot to soak the lifters. So we did that this morning, and then we just set the valve lash and uh, Got the cover for the lifters all set up and cam in, oil filter in. Now we got mint braking oil. Mm -hmm. From so, M's Oil. Yeah. Sponsor us. Yeah, please. Um, so yeah, we're going to put this in this hot rod and then go ahead, button up fuel pump, radiator, fan, etc. And uh, break this hot rod in. Dump some of that in there. So we dump it right in the spark plug hole. Yep, lube up the top end. <laughs> well, we're adding some water system. Uh, just straight water. Yeah. <laughs> we're pretty much just dialing everything up for the break-in. Uh, just got the belt and then uh, that's about it, and uh, just adding some good old water to it. So, catch you guys at the break in. Train. Hello. Thank you. Uh, we got the valve springs almost all done. Last one, and uh, we've developed a very stupid method, but it's actually working very well. So, with three people, uh, where'd the rocker arm go? Right there. Now whatever flew there, Hoss. Okay, so here's the question of the hour. What's that? You guys ate dinner, right? Yeah. No. Crank this hog up, brother. Yeah.